Farthingwood Fox had outwitted the poachers. I'll be back. But though some animals feared reprisal, most were well content. And to crown their happiness, spring was on the way. For the hungry animals, there was hope of better days. in the pond. And I caught a shrew this morning. Definitely not one of ours. Hmm. You know, I think it's time we gave up these emergency food raids. No point, is there? When everyone can fend for themselves. Uh, Fox says we can stop airlifting food. And about time. Now, about this nest. I've been inspecting possible sites and... That wing's still not right, is it, dear? Anyway, as I was saying... I suppose we should tell Owl. I wouldn't. What? I wouldn't bother telling her. Let her find out for herself. Isn't that rather mean? Sever right. She's mean and self-righteous and pompous and... Uh, I think we get the picture, dear. Just for a joke. Hmm, <laughs> it would be uh, <laughs> rather fun, huh? <laughs> but the animals had more interesting things on their minds. Oh, oh. What's up, Rabbit? My mate's in there. She's having our babies. It's agony. Oh, it's agony. You can't imagine. Hold on, old son. She's having the babies, not you. Yes, but I'm so sensitive. I feel every last twinge. You can't imagine. No, I can't. Where is she? In there. Let the hare see the rabbit. Fan him, someone. Are you crazy? We still live by the earth, even if we don't live on farthing land. Hello? What's all the fuss about? Don't you think we should tell her? Probably. Before someone else does. She'll find out soon enough. I say, um, Owl, why do you keep on bringing all this uh, food? Very kind of you, I'm sure, but... Uh... Orders are orders, Badger. What? 
But Fox cancelled the air raids ages ago. What? Didn't you know? No, Badger. I didn't know. No one told me, you see. Oh, dear. It seems I'm the only one who still keeps the oath. Oh, no. That isn't true. Well, perhaps you, Badger, but no one else. Fox didn't say anything to me. Neither did Whistler or Kestrel. Hare doesn't live on Farthingland, and look at Weasel. She hasn't been seen in ages. And when she was seen, she was a gorse bush. Huh? I beg your pardon? Oh, never mind. No one wants to know. Well, goodbye, Badger, and thanks for everything. I suppose I should tell Fox, but I simply cannot face him. Not after such a humiliation. I do what did I do for me, Weasel. I knew it. You can take that farthing word fox of yours a message. <laughs> you can tell him from me that I'll pay him back for the death of my son. Sure as my name's Scarface. Get it? Got it. Good. Get on with it then. Is that a gorse bush I see before me? <laughs> oh, you heard about that, did you? How are you, Weasel? Long time no see, eh? <laughs> I've, uh, I've got a message for Fox. A message? Who from? Uh, uh, uh Scarface, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. And what have you got to do with Scarface? Be gentle with her. Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, uh, nothing at all. Uh, uh, only... Uh, uh, he happened to see me in the wood, and uh, he told me to tell you something. And what was that? He said to tell you, uh, from him, he blames you for the death of his son, and he's going to get you for it. Got it? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Fox, leave her be. It isn't worthy of you. What's she doing carrying messages for Scarface? You're not going to find out by terrifying her. Uh, um, um, I'll, um, uh, be going. Um, mm. It's not like you to be so hard-hearted. I'm sorry. It's just I'm worried. It is my fault, you see. The poachers were after me. What I don't understand is why on earth they shot a blue fox. They saw me clearly enough. In the dusk, all foxes look the same, red or blue. Oh, I see. Then I've really done it, haven't I? Done what? I've brought the wrath of the poachers down on all our heads. They'll shoot every fox in the park just to be sure of getting me. Where are you going? I'll wait by the boundary. They can't miss me there. No, fox. They won't stop at you, don't you see? It would be a pointless sacrifice. And I need you. I should have told fox about the poachers. I know I should. I should have told him even if he did laugh at me. Oh, if anything's happened to him, I'll never forgive myself. 
I've just had a word with the hare female. She saw it all. It was the poachers, all right, and she told me they'd got a fox. Shot dead, right between the eyes he was. Didn't stand a chance. Mind you, he can't have suffered much. Died at once, apparently. Still, makes you think, doesn't it? One minute you're here, the next you're not. Oh, far better enjoy life while you can. That's what I say. The death of the blue fox threatened the peace of the park, and a new plan had to be considered. As always, I went to the stone circle to think. Aren't you the farthing wood weasel, Fox's friend? Me? No, no! Nothing to do with me! Weasel's appearance had made up my mind. You helped us, we must now help you. But how? Have you ever seen a herd of deer in full charge? It is a fearsome sight. So many hooves coming towards you, unstoppable. But the deer would be risking their lives. None can stand in our path, not even the poachers. Hmm, they would be terrified. Fox risked his life for us. We are prepared to take the same risk. If you will help us, we will charge at them next time they come into the park. I couldn't think of anything better. Good, then you accept. I'll arrange sentries as before to let us know when they're coming. Kestrel, where's Owl? I'm not entirely certain. That's strange. I saw something else that was strange today. Weasel, she pretended not to know you. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh, better than anything that other lot could produce. Look, this one's got my nose. Come back here. Always ranging, that one. A ranger, eh? He'll be a great help to his dad against that red fox, eh? Won't you, ranger? Can't you forget him just for a minute? You and me. We'll sort him out, won't we, eh? If the poachers don't get us first. about, you know, you and Whistler not telling me the air raids had been stopped. And I thought they'd shot Fox and it was all my fault. <laughs> oh, Al, please forgive me. Everything's all right now. <laughs> May I say, on behalf of everyone gathered, how gratified we all are on this joyous occasion. Fox and Vixen have always been most dear to all of our hearts and... Here, here. I haven't finished yet. Least said, Al. Soonest mended. Yes. So sorry. We didn't mean any harm. We all value you highly, Al. <clears throat> ah. Yes. <clears throat> Old quarrels must be put behind us. We have the poachers to deal with. You can rely on me to patrol the park boundary. As always. Come back here. Proper little dreamer she is. Always going off. Lives in a world of her own. <laughs> He's a bold little chap. Ha <laughs> ha! Just like his father. Ha 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 ha! Well, I must say, it's nice to see everybody gathered together again. 
Not quite everybody, Fox. Mole's missing. And Weasel? What's she up to? No good, if you ask me. Once a weasel, always a weasel. Never mind Weasel. What about Mole? I think I'll just go for a walk, if nobody minds. Off you go, Badger. Poor Badger. Who was going to break the news to him? Mole may not be dead, but it's beginning to look very like it. <coughs> Molly! Mole, old thing! Where are you, Molly? Mole! Mole! Where are you? It's Badger! You, moly old friend. Hello. Ow! <laughs> you little weasel, you. Oh, nobody cares. Nobody at all. My little friend. Dear old moly. Will I ever see you again? She want. Uh, I'll just go and find out, shall I, dear? <coughs> oh, no, not more trouble. Here, all right. It's up to us now. Keep out of sight, Fox. Good luck. Then surely now we should be safe.
<laughs> I might have known you were around. Ah, but you didn't. I've become a master of disguise. Boo! Oh! Get away from me! Are you all right? <laughs> I've been fine all this time because I've kept clear of you. But it wasn't my fault you were shot at. <laughs> Whenever I see you, something terrible happens. You're bad news, weasel. <laughs> Keep away from me. The poachers have returned once again to reassert their mastery over us. They are as gods with the power of life and death in their human hands, while we mere creatures must submit. They're shooting anything that moves. The Warden could stop them. He doesn't even know about the poachers, so he's hardly going to be out looking for them, is he? Fox? Yes. Yeah. 